Okay, so now that we're back in, we just finished with the Where the Light Is quad here. Now this one is not sold together anymore, but this is the ColourPop Kathleen Lights collaboration Where the Night Is. And so we bring that out of there. Again, it's also a quad. Dang, son. Wow. Dang. Um, can you take a chill pill for a minute? I'm going to move over here because, well, I can't see. <laughs> all right, good. We're going to do good. All right, so I'm going to take all of these out of this quad package. These are also Super Shock Shadows, in case you were wondering. Now, they sell these separately, but you can still get them. So, th it's going to be a long day. Um, so, we have this shade here. It is called Weenie, which I believe is a name of another one of her dogs. So, it looks... Sorry. It looks like this. If I can bring it closer, there we go gonna bring you closer all right so we we can do this so little little finger come on son you wanted to come in here we go so that's what this one looks like it's like a gold actually it's a rose gold now that I'm thinking about it I'm like oh sexy so there is that shade and then the next one is, this is a darker one, this is called Midnight. Using this, so it looks like this. And, just let, wow, I picked up more than I meant, my bad guys. But it's almost like a green gold situation and it looks really, really pretty. Um... So definitely consider trying that out. This next one is called Porter, which is the name of another of her dogs. So it looks like this. I'm going to use my ring finger here and it looks, it's very pigmented like that. I'm not sure why I haven't been using this color more, but I'm going to from now on because it's gorgeous grabbing that off my finger and then this last one probably one of my favorites is called telepathy and it looks like this I mean it's very shiny very pigmented let me see if I can swatch it for you and it's just really nice it's moving around in the pan unfortunately so I gotta like squash that so Grabbing that off my hand. So that is, those are the four in that quad. I would definitely recommend picking them up if you can because they are amazingly, uh, they're so good. All right. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I have everything set up again afterwards so that I can just pop it right back in my drawer. Okay, put that back in and this back in there okay so the next thing we're gonna go into is this elf total face kit this is the smoky matte version so you get a really great mirror right here but you get an entire look literally laid out for you so you literally start here as your transition shade like to put all over the lid like I did with that other one there's this shade where you can just go on all over the lid and then there's the smoky shade where you would start on that outer corner and buff your way into the inner corner and then just really do, I mean, you can refer to this however you want. Um, some people say windshield wipers, I say wax on wax off method and it'll really get very nice in there. This is also a bronzer, um, so you know, you can warm up your face or however you want to do that. This is your blush, and then these two guys are your lipsticks. Now, yeah, they provide you with dark lipsticks, so if you're not really into the darkness, then don't worry about it. Just go ahead and use another lipstick of your choice, and the look still works. So, the next 
palette that we have. It is another e.l.f. palette. This is the Mad for Matte 2, which you've seen me use before. As you know, it comes with a mirror down here, and you get 10 shades. It is $10 on e.l.f.'s website, which basically amounts to you get a buck for a shadow. You're paying $1 per shadow. And I usually start here and go in here for the lid preparation and then I go down here for the rest of the actual pigment application. Um, again, this is Matte for Matte 2. I purchased this before they gave it another name. So this is before they went in with like other new like Mad for Mats. So pardon me if I don't know the name of that anymore. Um, this next shade, I'm just going like layer by layer here. The next palette that I have is the NYX Dreamcatcher palette. This is Dusk Till Dawn. And it looks like, oh, it looks like this. You've also seen me use this on my channel before. And it's really mostly neutral nude shades. Um, for those of you who have not been using this, but you kind of want to see, you wish you had a mirror, uh, let, let me just relieve you of that burden and show that yes, there is a mirror and they do put a sponge tip applicator in there. Personally, I don't like sponge tip applicators. They can hold a lot of funk and I don't want no funk on my eyes. So you guys have also heard me not only rant, but fall in love with this palette. It's the Profusion Amber Eyes Eyeshadow Makeup Case. And it just, oh, Profusion is killing me right now. You come, you open it and you get a dual ended brush. So you get this as a flat brush. And then you get this one on this end. It's a packer brush. And then, yes, you get a giant mirror with this. And then you get all of these really beautiful shades and colors. I've gone with like yellows and oranges on this side. And then like gone really really into like a berry smoky kind of look with this and sometimes I even combine them together to make a really great shade and these are so pigmented on the eyes if you look back on my video the last one I did especially using this palette honey you know that they're pigmented they are amazing and I love them I want more stuff from Profusion and I'm definitely going to go there. Um, so the next palette that we have is Belle of the Ball. Again, this is from the same spring line that the Nectar palette was. The Blow Me Away palette. Um, in here you get a quad plus three singles. So again, the same idea. This is completely set up it's magnetic so you have a quad here so if you don't really want a shadow that's in here you have a little bit of space right here for your nail or thumb or whatever you're going to use to pop it out of there and like last time the names are on the sleeve here not on the palette um which i can understand why they did that but it's still kind of like it's aggravating so, but you do have these singles here, and they have their name. They have their names on them, and that is what they all look like. So they're very pigmented. The metallics are great. Um, unfortunately, if you're going to sanitize these, that rub and alcohol can cause a problem. That's what I had to do. I had to dunk my brushes fully in that. And I was very upset about it. Um, so the next palette that I have, this is an e.l.f. palette. It's the Everyday Smoky set. I can feel that one is loose in here. So I'm just going to be very much like this because I don't want it to fall out. But I use these shades here and sometimes even that one to do the original definition for the eye. And then I go ahead with this one on the brow bone to highlight because it's it's a little bit on the white but somewhat shimmery side here. 
and if you really want to smoke it out you have this entire end here there is a grayish tone which is this one right here that has a glittery shine to it but otherwise you really don't have that much going on um, which is fine it's all good um, so the next one cool I did put that in there alright so the next one is another profusion palette it's the nude eyes once again they do have the same brush that they give you in the amber eyes palette so every palette that they have comes with this dual ended brush also make sure that you clean this brush when you're cleaning your other brushes because they need love too so again you get a giant mirror right here but you get all these amazing looking shadows now when I open up the next palette you might see some similarities in their coloring but don't worry about that it works out so like you can go from this area over this way and there's actually I mean this one right here it's called nightlife it is shimmery so just be aware of that I always take like an eyeliner brush dip gently in it and then like put it along the under like the, the bottom lid um, I don't put things on my waterline it irritates my eyes I do it right under the lashes and it looks fine um, but I usually start with this one called sugar and just work my way down I tend to go from here over to here and hop around depending on the different looks that I want to do they do all have that like scent that I was not so fond of before but oh well I'll get over it so this next one is the profusion smoky eye again same brush as the others now don't get mad they do have the, the mirror here but do you notice that there's a bit of a similarity from here all the way to here yeah there's there's a similarity and then you go then everything almost like those three shadows weren't in the other one that one was and so were these guys so again make sure that you know this palette is something that you want I love the palette even though there are some repeats in shades that's totally okay with me because they're blue um guys I love this palette a lot actually it's a love-hate relationship with this palette right now this is the Maybelline the blush nudes and they look like this you've seen me use these before um, and usually they would come with a doe foot applicator I didn't like it so I checked it um, the majority of these are shimmers up here and then you get mostly your pigmented shades down there now I've been wanting to play with this one again for a while my first reaction when I bought this I I swatched it and I threw it out so because I was so mad and I didn't know at the time that hey you can spray your brush and it'll work just fine like I didn't know that so I wasted like it was eight bucks at the time now it's like ten or eleven um but I definitely wanted to play with this one again and I may on a much later date just not now um okay so I want to bring these guys out if I can I'm gonna bring out these guys okay so this is by elf it's part of the aqua beauty line if you see this kind of shading in their writing it's an aqua beauty line it comes with a really nice mirror and you go you get six shades here this one is literally the exact same as telepathy um, from ColourPop that we just showed you uh, or that I just showed you um, but they are as creamy if not more than the super shock shadows from ColourPop so this one is called Island Breeze and it was $12 on Elf's website so basically you're paying $2 a shadow um, the exact same packaging is for this one and it's called Cool Mist so we already know about that and this one I've used a little bit more 
um, than the other one, but that's because I like having sparkly blue eyes. Um, I really like that, and I have naturally blue eyes anyway, so it really just kind of flaunts that. Again, this was 12 bucks, so it's two books of shadow. Um, okay, on to part three.